values. Do you know why your values are your values? Where do they come from? Why those instead of others? Hi and welcome, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and this is today's gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Metaphysical Ministry is all about sharing the fact that what you can witness, what you can experience, what you can live using only your five senses, that's less than 1% of the reality that is. So you want to awaken to experiencing the other dimensions that move you beyond what you can hear, taste, see, smell, or touch. We begin every week with a happy share. And my happy share this week is I'm having a pretty consistent voice now. And I'm actually scheduled to give my first talk that I've done hmm, in a very long time because my voice was kind of in and out. I'm really, really happy about that. Because speaking, teaching, that's my favorite thing to do. That's why I'm here with you right now. So what is it about values? Once you could go through the list that you wrote last week, and if you weren't here last week and didn't write a list, go ahead and list everything that's important to you as far as the way you want to live your life. So it might be things like being happy, being healthy, being a good friend. Maybe it's about integrity, about honesty, about being who you are, what you see is what you get. I don't know what your values are, but whatever they are, if you just take time and sit down and write your list, make sure it's got at least 10 points on it, because these are the things, the feelings, the issues that drive your decisions. And only when you're in alignment with your values can you have success at anything. Be it the work you do, be it the friends you have, the relationships you share. Okay, so you have your list of values. Now, what I want you to do this week is go through your list. You can do all of them and do your top ten. I actually suggest doing all of them. And one by one, take a look and see why is this my value? Is it something that I'm moving my life toward being and living as part of me? Or is it something that I want to move away from that I fear having in my life that I do not want to have in my life? Because whether you're moving toward whatever it is, or you're moving away from, makes a difference as to whether it's something you value that runs you, or something you fear that runs you. To give you a quick example, when I was growing up, a lot of people told me things that weren't true. Sometimes they were doing that because they thought they were protecting me. Sometimes they were doing that to take advantage of me. But the thing was, most of my life, my number one value was truth. But it wasn't really my value. It was really a fear, a discomfort, a concern I had about people not being truthful not being who they really are and not meaning what they say. So that wasn't really a value. It was really just a fear. Go through one by one. Take your time because you just may be surprised. You want to know where did that value come from? What prompted you to feel that way? And again, is it a moving toward or is it a moving away from? When you finish your list, take another look at it. If it's moving away from cross it off. It's not a true value. If you're on our ministry site and you look up there, you will see a page called Holding a Space For. And what that means is if you let us know what it is, we will see a vision of you living that as your reality. 
So by going down there, telling us what it is you want that's not in your life now, I will also put it up there on that page. And then come back at least once a week and read each name and what people request we hold the space for. And you don't have to know who the people are. Just read the name and the request. I guarantee the universe knows who each person is. So that will take the thought form that you're putting out in the universe from just you putting it out to as many people putting it out and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and can come to you sooner or more solidly. And always with a caveat that only what's in your highest and best interest will appear in your life and only at the time it's in your highest and best interest. And that is known as divine timing. Really glad that you came by today. If you haven't done so already, you go over there. Give me a name and email. I will send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. I really appreciate your clicking like and share. And I wish you a week filled with really understanding what your values are. It will make your life flow so much more easily. And in doing so, I wish you many blessings.